the All Progressive Congress Professional Women Council has described the rising cases of gender-based violence in the society as unacceptable, pointing out that it is a pandemic that must be fought by using all workable policies. The coordinator APC Professional Women Council of the event, Rekia Sani, explained that the gender-based violence are happening everywhere at workplaces, churches, markets and homes, pointing out that all hands must be on deck. The coordinator and the director of Kogi Enterprise Development Agency made this known at a media palais as part of the 16 days of activism against gender-based violence held at NBA House Lokoja, the state capital. Our reporter has more. The World Health Organization statistics shows that 35% of people mostly affected by gender-based violence are women. Vekia Sane described this year's team, Policy Advocacy, a panacea for the elimination of gender-based violence in Kogi State, and it could not have come at a better time than now. The basic uh, uh, gap that is being identified that is very common among the stakeholders and enforcement, there are existing law. Today we got to know that the government of Kogi State have actually signed uh, the law addressing some of these issues. But then, domestication is a very key uh, action plan that has been I mean, identified to, at today's gathering, whereby we look at enforcement so that this gap does not just stay in papers. This policy does not just stay as a document. There is need for stakeholders to come together and implement and enforce the, the, the law. She pointed out that a time for women to collectively rise up to talk about the issue of GBV as it affects women and girls remains necessary. Kogi State is doing a whole lot already. There is need to call for more allocation of budget for this uh, uh, course. It has also been identified that we need a, a, a center whereby some of these violations can be addressed because there are trust issues, there are confidentiality issues. When this kind of things happen, instead of going to police and all of that, thing, there should be a center where assurances are being assured that, okay, it is very confidential when you go to this place, you can be addressed and then maintain confidentiality. Vekia expressed that the APC Progressive Women Council is not about party or politics. But the aim of the council is to build capacity women with skills. It's not all about politics, we are doing a whole lot in the next coming year. We're looking at how to build capacity of women in terms of skills uh, to be able to also feature prominently and match the competencies and skills of the other uh, uh, partner and in the male folks here. So that that's, that's impression of that this one, this position was built for. In the, the Kogi State Commissioner for Women Affairs, Fatima Kabiru Buba, represented by the Director of Women Affairs, Mutumayo, described GBV as a pandemic. She said that the implementation of violence against persons prohibition law would help to curb it. Ministry of Women Affairs has the mandate to facilitate and coordinate GBV programs in the state. In the areas of sensitization, capacity building of stakeholders, providing economic empowerment to women and people with disabilities, to reduce domestic violence against women, and to empower the survivors of sexual gender-based violence. The advocacy to domesticate the national gender policy has begun and distribution of the documents will commence in the coming week. To stem it down, responsive budgeting, advocacy, and funding should be the focus. She called for unity among stakeholders towards multi-sectoral approaches to influence activities that would reduce GBV. In a presentation on the overview of gender-based violence GBV in Nigeria by Barista Lillian Ogolo, chairperson of FIDA, she said that the fight against GBV requires all ends to be on deck. She says gender refers to the male and female. Was it a few months ago where in Lagos State they reported that over 300 men reported that their wives are beating them? And you, you, you can see that there is a change in narrative. Men are now speaking out. 
We have a lot of men that have been, you know, battered, uh, molested by their wives, most especially because of um, psychological violence. You know, but uh, because of the patriarchal nature of our society, we just feel that um, why should I talk? I should man up. I'm a man and stuff like that. But this is a fight for all, and we believe that as we speak out, as we you know, keep the party, we will find a solution to it. In their separate goodwill messages, Mohammed Wandana of Janatu Nasuru Islam, JNI, and Pastor Lola Balabubu and other members of civil society all advocated a safer society by working together to stem the rising cases of GPV. As a clergy, we from village, even in within the states, as a Muslim, we have the experience where a father will give out uh, his own daughter as a forceful marriage. There's no way in Islam I'm, I'm on air. Let anybody challenge me. No way in Islam where it's stated that you must forcefully give out your daughter in marriage. You must seek for her consent. She must say yes and Baba, I am going there. Your own, you can advise and give the consent. That is all. Whether in the church or in the mosque. But forcing her into marriage is the first, that is the panacea we are talking about. The only solution is for our imams, our scholars, our clergy to desist from such a thing. Because, first thing, she is going there, she is not happy. And her action and inaction will tell her towards violence. When you get married and you are going through challenges in your family, Maybe you marry a husband that is always maltreating you, or you are also expressing violence. You know, in Nigerian society, as far as my is concerned, you want to remain there and endure because you don't come back to my family. If the father will say, don't come back here, I don't want to ask you, you are not my child. In any other way, every other thing that involves brain, that involves uh, what a woman is capable of doing, as well as a man, a woman should be given equal. Uh, opportunity. If we must cut off these balances of prices of unemployment for women or a uh, low economic opportunity for women and a uh, uh, low educational opportunity for our girl type of women, there's no how. There's no how we can cut off this um, gender, gender disparity. So policy is very important and that's why this program is coming timely. It's very key. It's beyond politics, it's beyond APC, it's beyond PDP or whatever political party. It's about the, the, the common interest of the people of Europe. They described perpetrators as wicked people. I am Dorcas and your podium, reporting for MLC TV.